What's up guys? I'm at Macro again because I want to actually get a dolly trolley. I realized with the amount of stock that I had, I wasn't going to be able to take multiple trips going back and forth between my car and my vending machines. And as the business grows, I think and I believe that I will need the dolly trolley. And yeah, yesterday I didn't have space in the car to actually take it with me because I also had someone driving with me. So yeah, today I am going to buy the dolly, show you guys different prices, different options that I'm looking for. Just something simple, you know, so that I can take all my stock with maybe two trips max. That's the plan, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, see you guys inside. Let's go. So these are the only ones they said that they have. Prices ranging from 1.6, 1.7, 1.5, 1.5. Ideally, I'd want one that can fold. So, which one do you think I should get? Or which one do you think I got? I'll show you guys at the end of the video. So check this out guys, flat bed without wheels, I'm waiting for the wheels, let me see if I can get this one. I'm back home from Macro, went to get this um, flat bed trolley for my stock. As you can see behind me, I've got quite a bit of stock that I'm going to have to use to restock my vending machines, my new vending machines at a new location. Uh, I'm going to put in two at the moment, but I'm planning to actually put in four in total in that specific location because they have a lot of employees, around 200 plus employees, and they're still growing according to the manager. So, yeah, um, I think to transport my product in one or two trips maximum from my car to the vending machines, I do need some sort of a trolley. I wanted to maybe get a dolly trolley, the ones that go upright, but I decided to go rather for this flatbed trolley because I think it will also help when I want to carry all my snacks let's say in one like container like this and then in the top I just put the boxes and on the sides but right now I'm just going to build up the flatbed trolley um, be a bit handsy on the weekend and then from there we'll see how it goes um, how I use it obviously you'll see more of it in my videos once it's complete and done but this is just a video just to show you guys new equipment being um, used for my vending machine business as it grows but yeah
So yeah, guys, I think we're good to go, eh? This is done. I'm not too sure how I'll sit in my car, but I'm happy it folds. What's up, guys? So I've finished the trolley. This would be the situation and that most of my sweets and chocolates and all the sweet stuff can fit into this box. And then I'd have the, these chips boxes that I've put on also. And then I've also got some more product. Some drinks and snacks that I would have to um, also be able to take. But like I said, usually before I bought this much stock, I would need to pr probably take one or two trips to the car. Um, but now, if I didn't get this trolley, I would probably end up having to take four or five, let's say three or four um, trips to the car, if not more, just to get my stock inside the location. And as I initially stated, I'm planning to buy four vending machines for that specific location. And I've already bought this much stock for two vending machines, a cool drinks, a drinks machine, and a snacks machine. And yeah, now I'll be able to take everything in two trips, I would say, because the drinks and stuff, they'll definitely have to go alone to stock that machine. And that's totally fine, you know. Um, I think the drinks are the ones I'd be able to probably take first since they're heavier and it'll be easy to tell if people have taken or stolen while I would go for the second trip. And then the snacks and the drinks, it would be um, part of the second trip because it's more difficult to track. But anyway, guys, that's the pretty much the video. Um, if you really liked it or enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And... Yeah, the cost of this trolley flatbed it was around 899 rand, 900 rand at macro. Uh, there was also another one which was similar to the one that I was thinking of getting called the Dolly trolley, I think. The one that stands upright, it was going for around 7.99. And I thought, nah, that thing, it wouldn't work for what I envisioned in terms of delivering my stock to the location. I'd probably have to take three or four trips with that one regardless because of how it's set up it's very thin so you actually pack up and it only goes to about this high so yeah anyway yeah please like and subscribe and follow for more vending machine business tips and information and let me know in the comments what else you would like to know uh as you had seen i had bought quite a lot of stock around ten thousand rand worth of stock for these four vending machines that i'm planning to get and planning to buy i always plan according to a certain process i land a location show interest in vending machines that i want to buy get the vending machines and install them deliver and install them but this is the first time i've done an installment or a um, implementation of so many machines I, uh, I usually do one machine at a time because it's easier easier to control and I usually buy it from one person, but if I'm buying two, three, four, I'm not buying them from the same person or one company, which makes it a bit difficult in terms of um, delivery, in terms of ensuring the service is done and stuff. But yeah, uh, managing and as the business grows, I'll just, I believe that I'll reap the fruits of it. So that's my last thing, guys. Never stop believing in yourself and in what you envision for your life. And let's get this moon. Until the next one, I'm out.